Teacher Yomi here. Welcome to my class. Today, I will share 25 ways to promote powerful learning inside the classroom under different categories. These are attitude, effort, and respect. These are characteristics that teachers should impart when teaching and training kids how to learn whether as a group or as an individual. So, what I want you to do is sit back, keep an open mind, and listen carefully. Enjoy and learn! The first category would be attitude. Positive attitudes toward learning, toward oneself, and towards others all matter. When children have positive attitude, learning leads to a positive direction and they become confident and ready to start the day without pressure. These are ways to promote positive attitude inside the classroom. Encourage students to think of the new year as a fresh start. Start by saying to your student, I hope you had a great year, but I want you to remember that it's okay to have bad days and you can always start from the top. Replace what did you do at school with what were two positive things that happened today. For example, say, Stella, what positive things happened to you today? Post quotes connecting attitude and learning. For example, this is a quote from Bo Bennett saying, Having a positive mental attitude is asking how something can be done instead of saying it can't be done. Encourage them to use technology, ideas, and experiments to figure out how something can be done. For example, using their devices or gadgets, start by telling them to download effective applications or apps that can help them effectively learn. Recognize positive attitude. Use words like grit and perseverance. For example, say, I want you to remember this quote when you feel like giving up. I may not be there yet, but I'm closer than I was yesterday. Unlock the benefits of a good attitude by showing gratitude and thanking your students. Give a positive message. For example, say, you did a great job, Thank you for your effort in doing the homework. Model an attitude of a love for learning. Let your kids see you enjoy reading. For example, recommend books or other reading materials that can encourage them. Say, I appreciate your good attitude instead of just good job. It's important to encourage them properly so that they will be able to be confident without fear. Rest is key to attitude. Ensure everyone gets an appropriate amount of sleep each night. Make sure that when in class, tell them to get enough sleep so that they will be ready tomorrow. Ask, what can this become? Instead of, will it always be this way? A good attitude sees possibilities. Of course, it's important to let them see that there are millions of possibilities in the world and life. And that's it for attitude. Next would be respect. Treating others and oneself with respect changes communities and improve learning. Encourage students to look at each other in the eye and shake hands. This would improve their communication skills and also their interaction with their classmates. Be kind to others. Be the first to reach out to new kids and include others. Find the good in everyone you meet. When in class, you should always treat your students fairly and you should always say positive things about them. Think of how attitude influences respect. According to Clay Christensen, if your attitude is such that you cannot only learn from some people, your learning opportunities will be very limited. But if you have a humble eagerness to learn something from everybody, your learning opportunities will be unlimited. Use names like scholar, student, and learner as you talk with your children or with your students. Have fun with it and say, Scholar Simon, you did a great job. Give your children or students your undivided attention and spend time with them and be there. For example, when in class, give the class a time to rest so that you'll be able to talk to them one by one and ask them about their bad and good experiences. Celebrate each other's accomplishments in simple ways. For example, give everyone special treats, verbal acknowledgement when they are successful in their work. And that's it for respect. The next category would be effort. Full effort is the heart of Carl Dweck's work on God mindset. 
encouraging people to believe that abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. Say things like, give it your best, or this may take a few tries. It's okay to encourage students in a way that they won't feel pressured or nervous. It's okay to tell them that they made a mistake, but always make sure to say positive things about it and don't take it on the wrong road. Ask, what was something you did today where you felt proud of how hard you tried? It's important to ask your students how hard they tried or what efforts they made in something that they want to create. Use digital tools to maximize productivity and build ownership in learning. Of course, when in class, you should always maximize your tools. Use tools like projectors and make them use their gadgets or devices in effective learning. Leverage the fun built-in apps that use gaming to motivate learning. When in class, Make use of their devices or gadgets in order to download activities or games that uses effective learning. Recognize and build upon strengths. When kids are affirmed for what they can do, it can help when they face something more challenging. It's important to encourage students or kids when they want to do something. I know that it's okay to embrace their mistakes, but encourage them in a way that they won't feel nervous or feel bad about themselves. Set students up for success with a regular time and place to do homework. For example, when in class, take time to rest and do their homework so that they won't feel pressured when it's time to pass their assignments. Establish guidelines for technology use. When in class, tell them to use their phones to find information, not to socially text during homework time. Make it easy to work hard and make sure they have tools to succeed. Digital tools are awesome and so are simple supplies. Start by designing your class with a candy jar full of post-it notes, colorful flashcards, highlighters, device chargers, and other supplies. All are welcome to grab and use. And there you have it. That ends our discussion. I hope I was able to impart an important lesson to both teachers and students who are watching and are going to watch this video. Again, this is Teacher Yumi, leaving a quote from Samuel Sulu. It's by learning new things in life that makes us grow. Bye everyone, thank you so much for listening.